Hey internet, Harris here. So for most of my note-taking career on my iPad, I've used either Notability or GoodNotes, and they've both been great, and I've done tons of comparisons between the two. One comment that I've fairly consistently received has been to test out NoteShelf, which people have claimed solve a lot of the problems I have between the two different applications, GoodNotes and Notability. And I finally did, I've been testing out NoteShelf for the past few days in class, and here are my thoughts with this app to see if it might be worth the money for you. So NoteShelf is very similar to Notability and GoodNotes in the fact that you open it up and you have the ability to have folders and notebooks and you can import other things. This is a little bit different because the organization isn't as clear. It's not obvious to have different categories. It's not obvious to have different folders. Now there are categories, but I don't like it because you have to change the entire screen to get into different categories. I'd much rather just have different folders and you have to drag and drop the folders in order to make it a folder, which is a little bit confusing because it's not its not intuitive, it doesn't tell you to do that, and there's no obvious way to make groups or folders, in fact, they don't even call it folders. So that's the first thing that I don't really like in terms of the organization, is that you do either have to do different categories, which takes a little bit more time to switch between, or they have to drag and drop, which it doesn't tell you. But this app has been supported for iOS 13, so you can pull up two windows side by side and work on two note shelf notes at the same time, which is great. Uh, now you can't drag and drop between them, which isn't great, but you can copy and paste between them, so that kind of makes up for it. Additionally, there is dark mode, which is a nice addition. Doesn't change a whole lot, but dark mode is there. And at the beginning of my time using this, I could use the shortcuts for cut, copy, paste, etc. As of recently, they haven't been working. Hopefully an update brings those back, but this is iOS 13 compatible and iPad OS 13, I should say. But yeah, the promise of this was that it brought audio recording to an otherwise solid note taking application, something that GoodNotes lacks. And while you can do audio recording, it's a bit weird. So right away, it pops up a little voice recording icon on the screen, like not just part of the interface, but like on the actual document you're editing. And it has like a, an actual element that you have to keep on the screen. That just takes up space on the screen, which I don't really like. In addition, it doesn't have one continuous reading or recording, I should say, for the whole document. You can have a bunch of different, which can be pros or cons, but ultimately it just records it and there's no retracing of handwriting. So it's much harder to identify where in the recording a certain spot was, Whereas when you can retrace your handwriting, you can go exactly back to a certain point in the recording, which was much handier. And I don't really like the interface, uh, nor how just the voice recording works in general, but it's better than nothing, I would say. So if you want to do voice recording with this, you can do it on here, uh, and you can even export the voice recordings. Now, I love the highlighter on here because it goes under the text. It's a really nice sharp highlighter, or you can do the more rounded highlighter, so you have those options. Um, there aren't any like quick toggles to get into different highlighter settings. Uh, same with the pen tool. While you can do favorites, I would love to see the toolbar being customized to add your favorites right to the toolbar. That would be great and time efficient. But yeah, the highlighter goes under the text like it does in GoodNotes, which is something that really bothers me about Notability. So this goes under and highlighting is great on here. The shapes button isn't great. Now there are certain shapes that I can't do. Like I like to start and title my page with a long thin rectangle. I just can't really do that because when I try to do a long thin rectangle, it just condenses into a line. When I try to do a normal small size rectangle, uh, I can't adjust individual dimensions. It's proportionate, so I have to adjust the whole thing and it becomes a giant rectangle instead of a long rectangle. So the shape tool isn't great. I like Notability's auto shapes much better. Even GoodNotes has better shapes. Shapes on here are doable, but I, I don't like them personally. Importing is good. So you can import within the application, which is something that Notability doesn't have. So you can bring in documents, pictures, and things right inside of your document. There's also the OCR scanner, which is for iOS 13, as well as different things like images and emoji, which is kind of weird, but it's also kind of funny. So importing options, pretty good here. No limitations, really. And then both in terms of templates and cosmetics, this app is actually really good. There are a ton of different folders and templates and page options that you can get. And if you join their club, you can download a ton more for free. So this is actually killer, a lot better than Notability here. And then you can customize the color too, the top bar and the menu icons. You can change that color profile, so that's nice. Selection is fine, it's you know the freehand draw. When you select it, it does the marching ants, can't really complain. You do have to toggle the resize in order to resize it, which is a little bit different than Notability, which allows you to resize and rotate instantly. But this is good enough, it's okay. Now zooming out, when you're in portrait mode, you can only zoom out to see the full page. You can't 
get more than that because it does only left to right pages. You can't do up and down like the other two applications can. So you're a little bit limited in the sense that you can't uh, configure whether you want to scroll up and down or left and right. So you also can't zoom out to see multiple pages at once. Now there's also some limitations when it comes to the speed. So I've noticed when I open or close a document or when I change the theme or import things, there's like a notable couple second uh, buffer, which just doesn't happen in the other applications. It's a little bit slower. It's not the end of the world, but it is without a doubt something I've noticed. Now the pen options are good. There's four different styles. There's like the pencil, the chisel, uh, the ballpoint, and the, the pen. Um, I really like it. I think this does a better job at writing. I like my handwriting better on here than I do the other two applications. Uh, I wish, again, that you could have those presets or the favorites right in the menu bar, which you can't do on here. And the color options, I don't like how they're organized, nor do I like the size options. I wish it was more options and more precise. But overall, I actually do really like the pen on here, and I think it's a really good stroke that I like my handwriting with how it appears on here. So at the end of the day, this is actually a really good option. I just don't like the organization aspect of it. I don't think it's very intuitive. It does have some lags here and there, and the voice recording is obviously better than Good Notes. It doesn't have it at all, but it's a lot worse than Notability. And I do like the highlighting that it goes under the text. So ultimately, I'll probably still be sticking with Notability, but this is a great app if you wanna try it out. Uh, I think it does offer a bit of a compromise between Notability and Good Notes. So if you're looking for a good note-taking application for your iPad, you probably won't go wrong with this. It's fun, it's got custom templates, you can add more, and I think it's a little bit more flexible than GoodNotes and Notability. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think of this app. I'll see you in the next video.